Hey everybody, this is Chad Hymas. Uh, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and you had a great uh, Thanksgiving holiday with your family if you're in the United States. And uh, no matter where you live and no matter where this video is reaching you to uh, in the global world, I just want you to know how grateful I am for each one of you and the support that you've given me throughout the years. Um, you know, through all the challenges that uh, at least I feel like I've experienced lately with the burning of the lodge and the, the massive loss and the trauma that that's caused, it's, it's made me realize that when I focus on negativity and focus on who's to blame for that and why did that have to happen to me, uh, more often than, than not, I find myself depressed, anxiety. Uh, some people even would go to the point of suicidal when you have a loss like that. Um, I, I have not reached that point with the lodge. I did reach that point when I lost the use of my hands and my legs for sure. And I recognize that when we focus on the negative things in life, it just keeps hammering down on us. I mean, it just keeps pounding and pounding and pounding. And we wonder how, how to get out of those ruts. And the only way that I've ever done it, my friends, folks, is, is to think about the positivity in my life, um, to think about positive things and to go to a positive place in my mind. And more often than not, that is, just simply the things that I still have. Did I lose a lot? Sure. But I still have so much that's going for me. I've got shoulders. I, I've got a mind that thinks. I, I have a wheelchair that allows me freedom to, to move. I have a beautiful life that uh, keeps me grounded. I have children that love me. I'm expecting my first grandchild. Um, that's that's just, I can't even fathom that. I mean, I, ha I have a grandchild that is coming into this world that is going to need to be influenced for the greater good. And she's got grandparents on both spectrums, on both sides, that are wonderful people um, that are going to be able to help her get through. And so this there's just so many good things happening. So what I'm getting at is to focus on the good, even if it's a little bit, and that gives you some traction and a starting point, instead of letting all these negative things that have happened are like just hammer us down and bring us down. And when we do that, positivity breeds positivity, negativity does the same. And when I focus on those things that I still have and the, the, the positive that, that happens in my life, the more grateful I become and I don't have time to think about those negative thoughts.